In lesson two so far, we've shown you many ways of fixing this photo. That's one of the great things about Photoshop is it's such a powerful tool that it gives you many different ways of doing the same thing. So I'm going to show you another way. And this gets us into using channels. Channels are one of the most powerful features of Photoshop and we can do a lot with them. In Photoshop, you'd go to your Windows menu and just make sure that Channels is checked and you'll see your Channels panel over, over here on the right side. This is, is an RGB image and so it has three channels, one for reds, greens, and blues. You can see them over here. Here's your red channel and wherever there's a lot of red, it's lighter. And where there's little red, it's darker. Here's your green channel, the same thing. You'll notice there's fewer greens in here than there were reds and blue channel. And you'll notice that there are not many blues in this image. It's basically a very warm image. And when you combine all those channels together, you get your full color image. The interesting thing about Photoshop is that a Photoshop file can have 56 channels. These extra channels that you can create are called alpha channels. An alpha channel is just like a mask. So for example, when you click on Quick Mask and you grab your paintbrush and you start painting, that's created an alpha channel here. And when you turn off quick mask, it becomes a selection and the alpha channel goes away. So whenever you create a mask in a layer, it becomes an alpha channel over here as well. We can use these channels in a lot of different ways to create masks. One way that we can do that is to choose the channel that has the problem area that you're trying to fix. So let's take the red channel and duplicate it and make an alpha channel out of it. You can do that by right mouse button clicking and choosing duplicate channel. Or you can drag the channel down onto the new channel icon. And there we've created our first alpha channel called red copy. Now we know that whenever we use a mask that we can command or control click on that and make a selection out of it. So I'm going to come back up here and click on RGB so we get all of our color back and go into the layers. Let's choose an adjustment layer that we haven't really used yet in this course. And that one's called Selective Color. Selective Color is very powerful. And since we're just focusing on the reds here, you'll notice that our mask, if I hold my Option key down and click on it, uh, is basically the red channel, a copy of the red channel. I'll Option click on that again and come back over to the settings. Here we have our colors, uh, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. And if I take this slider and I push it to the left, I am taking cyan out of it. And we know that cyan is kind of that turquoise blue. If I move it to the right, we're adding more cyan into the image and that's neutralizing uh, or taking out some of the red, which is our problem area. We wanted to take some of that out. If I move magenta over, we're taking out magenta and adding in its opposite color, which is green, or we can add more magenta in. And so I want to take a little bit of magenta out of there. Yellow and blue are opposite colors. This is adding more blue if I take it to the left, or adding more yellow. 
And so basically I'm, I'm adjusting these three sliders and looking at her skin, trying to, trying to get it to look like normal skin color. And then our black channel will either lighten the reds or darken the reds down. So I'm going to lighten up her face just a little bit, and I think just take a little more cyan into it. And you can click on this little eyeball underneath to look at before and after. And that's made quite a bit of difference. I want to get it just, just right. So that's using a channel to make a selection or a mask.